Well, hello, everybody. This devotion is recorded to be broadcast on Friday, January 21st of 2022. Um, and this devotion will cover the 20th, we're starting the 20th chapter of John's Gospel. We're going to look at the first 10 verses only. Uh, we are getting to the resurrection of Jesus. And of course, the actual resurrection the is not in any of the, the Gospels, neither the Synoptics nor John's. Um, we are dealing with what happened after the resurrection in these. Uh, the Gospel of Peter, interestingly enough, as I had mentioned to the Sunday night group, this is the only place where you have the, the actual witness to uh, the resurrection. But that, of course, is a non-canonical book. Uh, that is one of the books that is, was never included in the canon, uh, though it was very popular in the early Christian movement. Uh, so if you want to look up the resurrection uh, story in the, uh, the Gospel of Peter, it's worth listening to or reading. At any rate, let's look at John's story here. Um, and here we have, uh, they are coming back on Sunday, of course, uh, after Sabbath. Sabbath is the holy day for them, of course, is Jewish for Saturday. And so they've come back early on the morning of, of, of Sunday morning. And that's why we have Easter Sunday, of course. So let's get into John 20, uh, the resurrection of Jesus, verses 1 to 10 in the 20th chapter. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the temp tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. But as of yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. Okay, and this one, John's version, of course, of this Easter morning is different than the synoptics. Uh, the synoptics, of course, we still have Mary uh, Magdalene coming, but here it's just Mary by herself. Uh, in the other synoptics, I believe all of them have Mary um, that Mary has at least one other person with her in all of the synoptics. And of course, there the women then see this person um, in the tomb, um, this, this angel or a young man or what have you. Uh, we don't have that in John. They, they, and the women actually, Mary Magdalene doesn't actually go into the tomb before she goes and gets the disciples. In the others, they, they, they peer in and they see this, this person inside that gives them this message. Um, so there is some differences here. Um, and we don't want to necessarily focus on those differences, but they are there just so you are aware when you're reading through it. Um, but the thing I want to take away from this is we oftentimes throw stones, if you will, or aspirations or aspersions, rather aspersions at the Jew, at the uh, disciples because they are so dense and so slow, especially in Mark's gospel, um, which we may do next. I'm not sure. We'll do Matthew or Mark. Can't decide. If anybody has a preference, we do Mark or Matthew. We've done Luke's gospel. Uh, so perhaps when we finish John's, we'll dive into Matthew and Mark's uh, one or the other first. I don't know. We'll decide. Um, and then we'll get all the, the, the gospels out of the way and you can compare the, the different dis differences in the different um, gospels. But here, um, we, we, we again, we, we look at them and say, you guys don't get it because it says they still don't understand the scripture. They must rise from the dead. What don't you understand, guys? He was telling you he was going to rise from the dead. How many times does he have to tell you this and you don't get it? Um well, before we point too many fingers and shake our heads and wag our fingers at the disciples for just being so slow and not getting it, um, think about our own lives. Do we behave like we understand what went on there? Do we always behave that way? Um, sad to say, since none of us lives a perfectly sinless life, obviously none of us quite got the message, did we? We still don't understand the scripture, to be honest. Um, we don't understand. We behave often, too often, like we never read the story of the empty tomb. 
uh, we never read this Sunday morning scripture. So that's where I'm going to leave you to ponder uh, between now and Monday, because this is a Friday video. The next video will come up on Monday when we get into Jesus Appears to Mary Magdalene in John's Gospel. Um, but think about that. Do we act like we, we understand? Do we truly understand? If we truly understood, would we behave the way we do? Good question. Think about it. Uh, and while you do, please, please, please bless someone today. Be a blessing to someone today. And if you like these videos, if you're, if you're interested, please subscribe down below uh, or like them or comment. We'd love to have that or share. We'd love to have all of those activities, any or all. Have a blessed day and please, as I said, be a blessing to someone today. We'll see you all Monday. Bye-bye.